Now this is Weed Free Garden Part 2. You'll need to click here in the top right hand corner to watch part one first. Okay y'all, it's about 7.45 in the morning. We're getting ready to start the second step to our Weed Free Garden Project. And we are just beginning to till the garden beds for the springtime. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. guys here we are at the beginning of the alpha garden and we are just starting to teal golly i can't tell you how proud i am how good looking that soil is so we're going to go ahead and finish tilling and then we're going to cover all this up with our sunbelt weed free matting so let's go ahead and finish up this tilling and uh, we'll show you how we cover it up all right guys we are done with the alpha garden as far as tilling goes now we got to go down to the omega and do the same thing i'm exhausted this is a lot wetter than it was supposed to be and it's going to rain tomorrow so i have no choice but to do it this weekend and as you can see the tillers all mucked up mud everywhere just makes it a whole lot harder anyway i'll get back to work and we'll catch up with you guys in a minute okay guys uh so now here we are in the omega garden here's our two row of elderberry that has just went dormant a couple days ago over here's the other side so this is the entire omega so our next step is after we have everything ripped and now everything's tilled we're going to come in and cover all this up with our black weed matting and put our fence down we'll also show you guys how we do that all right y'all so we have our uh, weed fabric opened up we have the tape cut as you can see it's unrolled and uh, we've calculated it's going to take about five of these pieces to entirely cover the alpha garden with about a foot left over on the sides so we don't have to weed it around the garden either we could just mow um so we're going to go ahead and cut this stuff we show you guys how we do that and then we're going to show you how we put it down so let's get started okay for those of you that's actually going to follow along on this project so you too can have a weed free garden we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, staples now you're going to watch a lot of videos on YouTube and all over the internet tells you that you're going to have to have some of these and you probably are. However, in the middle of the garden, if you have any good soil whatsoever, uh, it's soft. Now our garden, when you walk on it, it's like walking on kind of spongy or a pillow. It's really soft. These, no matter how long you get them, are not going to hold in the middle. Now if you go to your local hardware store, at least in our area, uh, you can only get the three and the four inch a landscape staple so we had to go online and get some six inch which is the longest we could find you also want to pay attention to make sure you get galvanized so they don't rust or you're going to buy a whole nother package of these in about another year um, so get galvanized so they don't rust there's a hundred of these in here for 20 bucks however we can only use these on the outside so we're not going to buy as many packs as we thought we was going to have to buy uh, we'll show you guys another option of how we're holding down our weed fabric other than just staples. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by these won't hold in softer ground. Um, here we are. We're over here at the edge of the garden. This is the first piece we put down, and we're getting ready to overlap it with our second piece. Now, we have a foot under there, from yellow line to yellow line. So, this dirt is way less dense than it is over there on the edge of the garden so a good rule of thumb for you guys is if you can take your hand and just push that staple down on the ground and then push it down with your fingers uh, more than likely this is going to come right back up the wind's just going to uh, blow it out so what happened to us was we wound up getting this piece out of a neighbor's yard uh, going around picking all these back up out of the yard so uh a good rule of thumb is if you need a hammer to put it in the ground uh you're going to need a hammer to get it back out and the garden in the middle is just too soft to use these kind of things so what we're going to do is implement our pavers and our staples at the same time now you're also going to need a rubber mallet you don't want to use a claw hammer putting these things in first off you really don't need that much and uh, sack it off you're going to waste a lot of time during the day trying to hit this thing with the claw hammer so it's better to have something with a bigger surface area so you can hit those staples a lot easier and not miss so many times if uh 
you need a hammer to put it in the ground most of them more than likely those are going to stay in the ground a whole lot easier than the ones in the middle of the garden where the softer dirt's at so you know just keep that in mind so here we are at the end of the alpha garden and as you can tell we already have our pieces put out now remember our roll was 300 foot long by six feet wide and uh, that roll got us to go down the garden three times uh, and our roll run out which means our garden is a hundred foot long uh, and as you can see we went and got us some pavers now these are not bricks these are a little bit cheaper than bricks these are pavers and uh, they're about a dollar each so uh, it's going to take about a hundred of these bricks we got 50 and this is how far we've got so far we're out of bricks or we just yeah we're going to just call them bricks but they're pavers so if it's okay so we're out of those we got to go pick up another 50 and we also have our second roll which is another 300 feet of wheat fabric we're going to put on that side so how much did it cost just for this garden alone the weed fabric the dewitt sunbelt fabric the six foot wide by 300 foot long rolls are 140 dollars each uh we had to get two of them so that's 280 bucks the bricks was roughly when we go back and pick up our other 50 is going to be around 100 bucks so roughly we're looking at about 380 bucks um for this garden here which is actually 30 feet wide by 100 feet long so that's not too bad to make this an entire weed free garden now as you can see here these staples they're they're holding really good but this is the only outside of our garden so this is really um hard or packed down red clay so those things hold really good on the outside of the garden okay the alpha garden is covered now we don't have it all stapled in like i said before the staples won't hold nothing in the middle because it's just way too soft and I got a little excited over here with the tiller so I got a little wide so we're gonna let this lay out for a little while get rained on stretch out shrink up it's gonna do all kind of things and then we're gonna go ahead and make our final preparations get the wrinkles out and uh, start marking our planting holes for this year but first we got to put the fence up now our plan for the fence like I said before is we was going to bring it in on the inside so we're going to use this yellow line here instead of planting to put our fence on that way when all this grows up we can just come right back through here and mow over it and not have to weed eat around the side of the garden either so there's going to be no weed eating on the outside or no weeds on the inside either well, that's our plan anyway all right y'all so this is the last step as far as us just rolling it out getting it in position now like i said before uh, it took two rolls here these pieces are six foot wide but actually we have one foot overlap so from this yellow line to this yellow line is overlapped under here so as you can see so there's actually a foot overlap so we don't have any trouble with weeds or something like that and when we walk on it and it stretches apart we have plenty of material there so we don't have to worry about separation and then the next step is we're going to show you guys how we plan in it We'll probably skip putting the fence down and we'll just get to the good stuff and show you guys how we're going to grow in it this year. Okay, so now that we got everything kind of temporarily placed where we want it at, what we're doing now, uh, since I got a little excited on this lip here, when I expand it out with the tiller, we're going to take the rest of that pile of wood chips there. And what we're doing is, well, it's actually mulch and soil now. And we're going to line it out through here, like you see all the way down through there. And we're just going to fill that hole in with it and then grass will grow back and we're eventually going to be able because the fence again will be on that yellow line so we'll be able to mow all down through our without weed eating next to the garden so all right y'all we're going to continue to get um, this project completed and we'll holler at you guys when it's time to plant in it see you on the next one